Atmosphere is one of the most critical parts of any story, and yet it doesn't get talked about enough in terms of writing guides and writing videos and things like that. Today I want to change that. I want to talk about atmosphere and how you can create the best possible atmosphere for your stories. By the way, my name is Brandon McNulty. I'm a writer. I'm the author of Bad Parts and also Entry Wounds, and welcome to my writing channel. One of my subscribers requested a video on atmosphere. The guy was a little concerned about how to do it properly, so I wanted to do a video on how to create atmosphere in your stories and how to do it well. And I think the best way to understand how to work with atmosphere is by breaking atmosphere down into three separate components, which I'm gonna be talking about a little later in the video. But right up front, the very first thing I wanna talk about in this video is that you need to decide on one primary atmosphere for your story. I mean, your, your story can bounce around a little bit between different atmospheres, but there has to be a primary atmosphere and you need to settle on this. You need to know what the atmosphere in your story is gonna be. And you have plenty of choices out there. It could be dark and gloomy. It could be fun and lighthearted. It could be isolated. It could be tense. It could be laid back. I mean, there's so many different types of atmospheres that you can work with, but you have to pick one. Now that we've got that covered, let's move on to my three different components of atmosphere. And they're very simple. The first one is description, then you have character, and then you have situation. I'm going to talk about each of these in detail. We'll start with description. And description, I mean, this is obvious. You need to describe things in order to create atmosphere. But it's especially important that you remember word choice when you are describing different characters or places or situations or whatever it may be. That description is what is going to contribute strongest to your atmosphere. And I have two examples that I want to share with you to help illustrate how word choice can convey atmosphere, especially with the same situation. So the situation we're working with here is just a character walking down a hallway. I'm going to read two versions of this, and you'll be able to notice how the different word choices create completely different types of atmosphere. So example number one, I started down the dark hallway. I couldn't see anything, so I pressed my hand against the cold wall. Though initially smooth against my palm, the wall soon scraped my fingertips, drawing blood. So the atmosphere of this example is dark and oppressive. We get this right at the front with the description of the dark hallway. It's one where you can't see anything. It's working against the character. So the character has to press a hand against the cold wall. And that sense of touch there, that, that cold wall is uncomfortable. And for a moment it's smooth, which is somewhat of a positive thing, but soon it changes and we get the sense that, okay, this, is, this wall is nasty. It's scraping fingertips. It's drawing blood. Again, a dark and oppressive atmosphere. Now let's take a look at example number two, and this one has a very different atmosphere, and I'll read it for you right now. I started down the sunlit hallway. Bright blue wallpaper escorted me to the condo unit where I had spent my favorite vacations as a kid. The moment I unlocked the door, I was greeted by more sunshine and a breathtaking view of the ocean. So this is the total opposite of the first example. The atmosphere here is warm and welcoming. We get that right from the start with the sunlit hallway, the bright blue wallpaper. And if you notice the verb choice here, the, the wallpaper escorts me into the condo unit. And later on, I'm greeted by more sunshine and a breathtaking view of the ocean. Escorted and greeted, they contribute to the welcoming atmosphere. So keep in mind, not just adjectives, but you can also use verbs in order to convey the situation and convey the atmosphere that you want for your story. But the important thing to remember here is that word choice is critical to the atmosphere in your stories. If you don't have the right word choice, you're going to be sending the wrong message to your audience. So especially when you're editing your stories, pay attention to the verbs, the adjectives, the nouns, everything working to construct your sentences and construct your scenes. Make sure that it's contributing to the atmosphere that you want. The second component of atmosphere is characters. And it's especially important to keep in mind how many characters are present in your story and also what is the personality of the characters in your story. If you only have one person in your entire story, that is going to have an isolated atmosphere. There's just no way around it. But if you have a story with one main character and, and a big supporting cast full of people who are laughing and sharing stories, that's going to have a totally different atmosphere from that isolated story. So keep that in mind, depending on how many people are in your story, Story, that will change the atmosphere and another thing that will change the atmosphere is the personalities of the characters in your story if you have fun and laid-back characters your atmosphere is going to be light-hearted if you have characters who are sar sarcastic or bitter or, or they're suspicious that's going to contribute to a darker atmosphere for so personality is another thing to keep in mind ask yourself do my characters fit the atmosphere of my story 
And the third component of the atmosphere is situation. And this encompasses everything from your setting, to your story stakes, to your scenario. For instance, if we have a spaceship that is lost in space and the crew doesn't know how to get home, and maybe there's something aboard that spaceship that is trying to kill them, that has a very different atmosphere from a story that is set in a vivid city full of people laughing and dancing and playing music and having a celebration. Those different types of settings and scenarios and the stakes involved, those will contribute to different types of atmosphere. So always ask yourself, okay, what do I have as my setting? And what is the scenario here? What is at stake here? Do these things contribute to the atmosphere that I want for my stories? And if it doesn't contribute to that, you need to change things up. Another thing I want to throw out there is sometimes you can have the exact same setting or the exact same scenario, but you can tweak the atmosphere by showing how the character feels about it. For instance, let's say we have a character who is sitting alone in a room somewhere. That could potentially be a depressing and gloomy scene, especially if the character wants to be around other people. However, if we take that exact same scenario where we have a character sitting alone in a room somewhere, but they just got home from work and their workday involved them talking to tons of people that they didn't want to talk to, and now they're burned out and they just want to relax, that's a very different atmosphere. So keep those things in mind. Depending on how your character feels about the situation, that can change the atmosphere as well. So I hope this helps. Question of the day, what is your favorite movie and how would you describe the atmosphere of that movie? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to support the channel, please pick up a copy of either one of my novels. Also, be sure to check out my other videos. Hit the like and subscribe buttons for me. Share this video with a friend. And as always, remember to keep on writing.